the screwdriver it is available in different configurations you have the all black handle or you can get the orange and black like you see here and for the shaft they have the silver shaft and they also have a black shaft however the black shaft is a limited run so it may take a little bit longer to get that one if you order it and they may not make that one available for long as it does have some issues with wear on the black coming off of the screwdriver as you use it over time. Okay, let me pick up the screwdriver. So yeah, this handle actually feels uh, very good in the hand. It's actually pretty wide. I was concerned that, you know, with Linus's small hands, this screwdriver would just be too small for me. I'm just kidding again, Linus. Uh, but seriously, I'm like six foot three, I uh, have like humongous hands. So for big guys, if you're worried about it, it actually fits in my hand very well. And another thing to know about me is that my hands get very sweaty, uh, which is always a problem, but the material that the handle is made out of actually uh, works very well with my sweaty hands. It's not slipping or anything uh, as I turn the handle, which is really good. It is covered by a limited lifetime warranty, which is really great that Linus and the team are backing this up with a warranty. As far as the length, if you're wondering, it's 213.1 millimeters or 8.4 inches. And at the widest point in the handle, it is 35 millimeters or 1.4 inches. The shaft length is 82.2 millimeters or 3.2 inches. And the weight is 0 0.34 pounds. So as far as the weight, it does weigh quite a bit more than this Husky screwdriver, for example. Uh, but it does have a compartment inside to store all your bits. And the shaft definitely looks higher quality than that of the one on the Husky. So what else is there to know about the screwdriver? Well, the shaft is made out of stainless steel. It's got a strong magnet inside to hold the bit in place, which is really important. I've had so many screwdrivers where the magnet is weak or the magnet even falls out, but I think the way they built this is gonna be good. Now let's take a look at the internal storage. Okay, so it's got two grips on both sides and you just kind of grab it and then pull out. And here you see where the bits are gonna be stored. And then when you're done, you just push it back in. But opening again to show the internal storage, you can store 12 shorty 20 millimeter bits or six full size bits. And the screwdriver was designed with comfort and ergonomics in mind. As you can imagine, Linus is gonna pretty much use the screwdriver every day and he needs to have a good working comfortable screwdriver that works every time. And the ratcheting system you hear now, and the bit storage you see now is based on Mega Pro's design. Take a look at the bits that are included. And here are the bits. The tips of these bits look actually quite small, but I'm gonna take them out and look at the base. But again, I believe these are what LTT is referring to as the shorty bits, which means you're gonna be able to store all 12 of these bits inside of the LTT screwdriver, which is really cool. All right, let me go ahead and take them out. And again, this is the standard bit set and it is included free with the screwdriver when you get it. Okay, so it looks like you get three of these Phillips tip and the base, as you can see here, is actually pretty short. So I think that's what they call them shorties, right? I would say that the bit on the left is your typical normal size Phillips bit, whereas that middle one is probably equivalent to this Star Wars screwdriver that I have here. And find the really small one is probably like to work on stuff like smartphones or, you know, laptops with really small screws. So they pretty much give you the same thing with the flat screw bits. And now you have three other hex bits, two square bits, and finally their magnetic bit. And we all know that we dropped a screw here and there when building a PC. So this is really gonna help and I'm glad they included it. All right, so here's the screwdriver with all the bits. I'm gonna go ahead and put all these bits inside of the compartment so you guys can take a look at how that looks. All right, wow, this screwdriver actually fit 12 bits inside of the handle here. So let's go ahead and open it and take a look. And here we go, all 12 bits are inside and you can spin it and see which individual bit you wanna get. And to take out the bit is actually pretty easy, just like that. And all right, I knew I had to pull a Linus at some point in this video. So here is the bit right here. And as I already showed you, you can easily put them in and take them out. So let's go ahead and close this and let's see how strong this magnet is, baby. Come on, how close do we have to get? All right, there we go, pretty nice. And let's try to take it out. It's actually kind of hard. <laughs> so yeah, guys, that magnet is pretty strong. I actually can't take it out. My hands are slippery as I mentioned before. So yeah, I'm gonna have to use my shirt, take it out like that. But yeah, you hear that satisfying snap when it gets pulled into the magnet. All right, and just a quick note about these bits. Again, the standard bit set is included with the screwdriver for free. The other bit sets are available for sale for just $6.99 each, which I think is a good value. And the bit sets that are available for sale on their own are the standard Phillips, Metrix Hex, Imperial Hex, Torx, 
and specialty bit sets. The bits are made out of black phosphate coated S2 steel that are rust resistant, which is really important. I have so many screwdrivers and screw bits rusted out on me. And another cool thing I like about the screwdriver is they didn't go all out on the branding. It just has one logo. And that is on the bottom of the screwdriver here. You can actually barely see it. It's an embossed LTT logo. And that's pretty much it. It just looks like a kind of fancy screwdriver. And another important thing to mention is that of course, this is a ratcheting screwdriver. So in order to control the direction the ratcheting you'll see right here is kind of a little symbol it's so hard to see. i wish they would have made this a different color maybe orange or white but you pretty much just turn this either to the right middle or left and depending on that it'll just act as a regular screwdriver or it'll ratchet so you can tighten or you go all the way left so that you can untighten. Okay, so let me actually try the ratcheting system to see how well it works. Sorry, I don't have any PC components handy in front of me, but I do have this label maker and it has some screws in the back. So let's go ahead and try it out. Okay, so I'm gonna try to take out the screw right here. Ooh, that sounds so good. And the good thing is once it's loose, you can just spin it to the left and the screw is out just as you see here. So yeah, I must say this is a very satisfying ratcheting system. As you see, I already tightened it. So there you guys have it, the LTT screwdriver. Thanks again, Linus, for making this product for us and this screwdriver is definitely big guy approved so if this looks like something you want go ahead and pick it up at lttstore.com i'll see you guys in the next video and the bit storage you see now is based on megatron's design